Hello YouTube, I hope you folks are all having a good day today. Everything's going great out here on the homestead. Got my buddy the farmer with me, shaking his head at me. Uh, we're going to do a quick chrono test today. We have some Remington Golden Bullet bulk pack ammo. This is, comes in a 1400 round bucket, like this. And uh, very inexpensive, they sell it at Walmart. Uh, I think it's like... I want to say it was $78 with tax for 1,400 rounds, so very inexpensive. Uh, I have done a lot of shooting. I've done several shooting videos with this already, but this is actually the first time we're going to put on the Chrono. And uh, for me, I know some people don't like it, but for me, it's been very reliable, and it's actually very accurate ammo in my particular guns. So we are going to do uh, two pistols in this or. Yeah, two pistols in this test. We got a four-inch Sig 322, and then my neighbor lent me a uh, Ruger Mark 422 that he does not want on camera because he's a private person. So we're going to get the velocities from that, but we won't be seeing it. But that has an eight and a half inch barrel on it. So uh, we're going to do the Sig 322 first. Uh, I will call out. I, I'm going to do. Uh, I think. What do I got here? Yeah, six six rounds per per gun. We'll average out. I will call out the velocities as I uh, take the shots, and then when I'm all done, I'll average it out and figure out the energy foot pounds, and I'll put that in the description and I'll fin it, pin it in the first comment for all you folks to see. So, you know, again, uh, I've had really good luck with this in the past, but let's see what kind of velocity we're actually getting out of this because I'm not really sure. I think it's probably going to be similar to what you would get from something like a Federal Champion or whatever. And this is, by the way, a 36 grain hollow point. And it looks like a got a brass jacket on it. It looks like, like a brass wash. So let's see what kind of velocity we get out of these guys. If we get a thousand, I'm gonna say that's probably not too bad. Let's see what we get. Here we go. 927. 1026. 1032. Yeah, we get an error. Yeah, we get another error. And we're going to reposition the, can uh, the uh, chrono here a little bit. All right, we'll fire a few extra rounds out of this guy. All right, here we go. 10-17. 973, 998, 996. So it looks like we're just shy of uh, a thousand feet per second. We get a few extra rounds in there. So I mean, wanted to make sure we got a good da data average. You know, nobody wants to watch a video for, you know, two rounds being averaged out. So, okay. And now we are going to try the Ruger. And we're going to see what kind of velocities we get out of this guy. And like a fool, I forgot to, to load it before the test began. So, hold on a second. Get this guy loaded up. Awkward pause. Okay. Here we go. I will probably edit this part out. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ruger, Mark IV, 22 pistol, oh, for velocity. This with its eight and a half inch barrel, we should be getting well into the thousand range with this. So let's see where we're at. Here we go. 1062, 1080, 1076, 1111, 1051, 1095. 1126, boy, that one was almost supersonic. 1076, so yeah, good, good, good deal hotter from the longer eight and a half inch barrel. But uh, pretty good data, pretty good results. I was uh, particularly impressed with it from the eight and a half inch gun. So very impressive results, I would say, for bulk ammo. And uh, again, this ammo for me in past tests has been very accurate and very reliable, actually, so... All right, folks, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I really appreciate you watching our tests. Read them by me out.